what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to reverse a clip on share factory so you guys can use it in your videos montages etc so without further ado let's just get into the video before i do that if you are new to the channel it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe as well as turn on post notifications on so you never miss a video and leave a like as well as i said Feel free to drop a comment if you want any sort of videos in the future, and if you want to support the channel any further, make sure to use my code MVPALLY in the Fortnite item shop. Thanks, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. So as you can see, we just have a normal clip that obviously I have used in the past. I don't want to reveal any new clips that I have gotten. Um, spoiler, there isn't many, but I do obviously want to keep them anonymous for any future montages. So yeah, we're going to use one that I've already used before, but as you can see, it's just a normal clip. I'll play the clip now. So yeah, it's just a normal kill. Um, and basically, like I said, I'm going to be shooting you guys how to reverse it. So what you want to do is you want to like pretty, pretty what I would do is I would obviously get the kill. So you get to the bit where you just kill him. So like I'd say before you hit the ground in this case, then I would like I would split it um, like at that point. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the exact end of this clip, right? And then what you want to do, what you would do is press record. So let's just imagine that I've just recorded as I'm already recording now. So just end this recording. And basically as you're recording, um, just press left on your D-pad. Every Like you have to be consistent to make it as smooth as possible. So what you want to do is just press left, wait for the frame to load, left, left, left. You get the point. And eventually get to the point where obviously you want to stop it reversing. So I'm just going to wait until, let, let's just say here, right? So I'm actually going to go and do that and then I'll teach you guys the next step. So what you want to do the next thing guys is you want to make actually a new project and this is because you're going to be basically um, saving this as a video clip but on several, uh, uh, several occasions. So effectively you don't want to be waiting 18 seconds in your montage for the clip to fully reverse, obviously not. And so what you want to do to prevent that is go to time bender and just increase the speed by times two. And what you want to do after that is just save the video and exit. And then you want to go and add the same um, thing you've just made, but obviously as a video rather than like this. You want to delete that one and you just want to do the same process again. And like before, put it in as like the actual finished saved video, times the speed again and then boom. And as you can see, I can times it by two speed again. And this is actually, before you do that, you want to add like a red screenshot. And then that makes it long enough for you to save. So you're going to go back to wherever your montage is. And then you're going to add this in. And so as you get the kill, basically in between the where you split before, you're obviously just going to add the um, thing you just added. And what then, then what you're going to want to do is obviously use the trim clip um, and then get to where obviously this all starts which seems to be around here and then this is what you should have obviously what you're gonna then want to do is ideally pan and zoom now annoyingly this does make the quality a lot worse but if you want this effect to be successful um, it's probably worth doing that I the thing is the annoying thing is you can't really zoom in like that much before you know it starts to look out of place so you want to make sure you get the like the mix right um, annoyingly that PlayStation 4 in the top is going to play an issue um, but I've seen around 170% to, to work and to say that it's only going to be a second I don't really mind that orange thing being in the way um, so yeah this is what it looks like at 100% zoom like it actually looks all right bearing in mind my orange thing um on my share factory screen as i'm recording is taken up the one that's actually on the saved video so it doesn't look too bad for me but it's not going to look too bad for you either now obviously if seeing as you're doing like a reverse like an edit i personally usually add the vhs filter which is like this and it just sort of it's just adding something nice isn't it and um yeah that's pretty much how you add a reverse clip um, it's good if there's like um, one beat drop and then that's like another beat drop within like a second. It's just sort of nice to just sort of go back, add the same clip, um, but for a beat drop. And it's just nice little edit to have. So yeah, that is how you reverse a clip in Share Factory. 